Okay, so uh, real briefly, I'm going to show how to create this test object in Onshape. Okay, so what we're going to start with, so we need to first actually get to our Onshape. So remember that's colonialhs.onshape.com. When you click on that link, right, it'll ask you to sign in with your Google Drive or like your Google account. Okay, make sure you're signing in with your student account, otherwise it won't let you in. Okay, we're going to choose our documents in the upper left. And then we're going to create a new document so that we can start practicing some of these skills and learning how to use the interface. Okay, so when we want to actually create our new document, we can hit create and then document. Right here, create document. The name of it for this activity is going to be extrusion practice and your name. Okay, I'm going to put mine. Well, since it's a video, this will be your name. Okay. We hit OK. It'll take a moment, it'll load us into the actual on shape system. Okay, and there are two main tools that we need to learn how to use. Okay, one is sketch. Okay, in the upper left, one is extrude. Okay, we're going to have to start with a sketch. You have to have something flat before it'll let you make it 3D. Okay, so we start with a sketch. It opens this little box right here. All right, we can click on a plane. We're going to start with the front just to make life easier. It'll look a little cleaner for what shape we're making. Okay, and then if you notice, it unfades away like all of these tools. So now we can actually use them. What we're going to do is we're going to make rectangles. Okay, there are rectangles up in the corner here. We can click on that rectangle. If we click and just drag our mouse over, we don't have to keep uh, the button held down. We can just click again and it'll drop the rectangle. Okay, there are different kinds of rectangles. Like this one, it will start from the middle. Okay, you can use those if you want. It depends on what you want to do. If you want to get rid of it, if you didn't want to use this, we would hit the escape key. Okay, so we're going to go back to the other type of rectangle. We're just going to make like a T shape. Okay, it's okay if they're overlapping. It's okay if they're not. Both will work. But then what we have to do is we need to close out this flat version, okay, our flat sketch plane. We hit this little green checkbox and it'll keep what you've just done. Okay, if we hit extrude now, immediately to the right of our sketch button, that is what's going to make this three dimensional. Okay, we actually have to click on, if you see it highlights all these areas, we need to click on all three of those. Okay, so that it will extrude all three. Then what we're going to do is we're going to stretch this. We can click and hold and drag that little arrow. Or we could type in this box. Maybe we want this to be four inches. We can hit enter and it'll create that size. If we're done with that, we can again, that green checkbox closes us out of that tool. So those are the main two tools that we're going to use for quite a while. Okay, we can sketch. Maybe we want to add words. Okay, we're going to click on the T, that front T shape, as our plane this time. And you see we have our boxes, we have our circles, but we also have letters. We have our text here. If we click on text, we can kind of click and drag just like our rectangle was. But then we can type in. Okay, so we're going to type in our name. Okay, so this might be, you know, my last name. This could be your first name. Um, at least, again, for you, stick your name in here, either your first name, your last name, one of your names, whatever you want to go by, click the green box. Okay, that green check closes that out. If you're noticing a theme here, then we're done. Let's say we're done with this sketch. We can, again, click that green box. Okay, but now we actually want this 3D. So we're going to hit extrude. Right, we're going to click on the name since that's what we want to make three dimensional, and then it creates 
this pushed out version. Okay. We hit yes. And that's our main goal for today. Okay. To send this to me, okay, when you're done with this, at least for today, we're going to do a screen snip, okay, where you control, uh, sorry, you Windows key, Shift, and S, and snip your screen, and then you would send that file to me, please. Right? Check in with me if you have questions, um, and we'll go from there.